This is my Berkey water filter. It filters all of our drinking water and cooking water for our family. I've had it for three and a half years and I absolutely love it. I purchased this because of the reviews that it had and I did look at the testing from some independent labs on how these filters perform. But the Berkey has been in the news lately and there are a few lawsuits out there against it. So I'm gonna talk about how it's performed for my family and whether or not I trust it anymore. Let's talk about it. So just some numbers on how much we use this. We've used this for three and a half years. That is 182 weeks. We fill it up with three gallons of water about twice a week, or I calculated that's about 364 times I've filled this up over the last three and a half years, and that's 1,092 gallons that I've run through here. Each one of the filters inside of here are rated to last 3,000 gallons, so 6,000 gallons total coming through this. And so I'm about only a sixth of the way there. Berkey says that this will remove between 99.1 and 99.999% of viruses, bacteria, pharmaceuticals, heavy metals, and even radiological elements. No other gravity filter on the market claims that at all, not even close. The only other filter system that claims to do anything like that at those levels is a reverse osmosis system. But here's the thing about reverse osmosis. You shouldn't drink reverse osmosis water. Now, I know that's not what you wanna hear and that's not what has been sold, but my wife used to work in pediatric renal dialysis and she knows a lot of dialysis nurses. They use RO water for dialysis systems because it is so pure. It has everything taken out of it. And one of the doctors, a nephrologist she works with, saw somebody drinking RO water. She told her not to do that. Why? It's because RO water doesn't contain any electrolytes. You're drinking pure water with nothing else in it. You're not getting electrolytes into your body. If you didn't know that, you're going to have to get electrolytes into your body from some other source. So be very careful if you're drinking exclusively only reverse osmosis water. People were saying that the test results for the Berkey black filters were very small samples, and those tests weren't over the lifetime of the actual filters themselves, or what they claim the actual filter. And I think that's where one of the lawsuits points to. Now, that's a little concerning, but the testing, the initial testing was done by a NSF certified or EPA testing laboratory that did all the NSF certified tests. Test 42, 53 I think it is, and 104. Sorry I meant 401. You can find those test results from the independent labs all over the Berkey or New Millennium Concepts website. They are there, they were done, and they don't regularly do them. But I don't believe any of the other companies out there do constant and regular testing of what comes out of their filters through an EPA certified lab. A lot of what I've seen for other companies like Aquasana is their own in-house testing results listed on their website. Those testing results are for NSF 42, NSF 53, and 401. But they don't say, again, how many gallons were filtered through those filters. Now, Aquasana has no claims versus these guys. It's some independent people and the US government, but not about the filtration claims on these. And I will talk about that in a minute because that is incredibly important for you and for me right now. Here's another thing. Many of the other companies that have specific filters filtering their water, they do not tell you to use water from any other source but a potable source, which means your tap water that is already treated and coming into your house, and potentially rainwater as well. Berkey's claims say that you can put lake water, pond water, stream water, any type of water in here, and it will filter out all the contaminants that it claims to filter out. And it does that for a cost of about three cents a gallon, which is unbelievably affordable. But hey, I wanna go back to the reverse osmosis system for just a minute. You need 
electricity to run that system. This is gravity fed. So in a grid down situation, situation where you're going a long period of time without power, say after a hurricane, and you need clean drinking water, a gravity fed system is what you are going to have to use. So again, getting clean water from RO in that situation, it's not gonna work. In my research, I found nothing better than these filters. Simpure, Alexapure, uh, Brita, any of those, none of them compare to this. I think the Aquasana is probably the closest, but again, this is going to come down to a trust issue with people. And people are dogging on this company because they think they have some perceived trust issue with them. Well, let me talk about that for a minute. The independent lab tests for this are independent, right? They came from certified labs. I haven't seen that anywhere else. But if you wanna talk about trust or contaminants in your water, let's talk about that. So are those same people who don't trust this one trusting another company with their own testing? Are those same people who are not trusting this company because they say their tests are old or whatever, or they didn't filter the whole amount of water that the filters are rated for, are those people buying bottled water, which sits in plastic bottles and potentially leaches microplastics into that water? Are they buying that type of water? Are they trusting their car brakes to work every time? Are they trusting pharmaceutical companies with their claims on their medicines? What about a company like LifeStraw? Everybody knows LifeStraw. They're made to be stuck into contaminated water if you're lost in the woods, an emergency situation. Those filters are made in Vietnam. Vietnam tests them per their standards over there. They have those testing reports from their labs on their website. Do you trust them? Can you trust them? That's up to you. This is all about an issue of trust. You know, the old saying is trust but verify. Well, I have verified by looking on their website at the independent reports. And I've looked on the other websites at their in-house reports. And so I chose them for that reason. Let's talk about making clean water yourself. So if you don't wanna buy anything and you wanna make clean water yourself, there are two or three methods to be able to do that really effectively. One is boiling the water, one is distilling the water, and one is running water through some sort of charcoal filter. Now all three of those will help you out in a sticky situation, but let's talk about if boiling is actually better than this. Boiling water will kill pathogens, viruses and bacteria. That's not an issue. And those are what make you sick initially, right? But if you have to do it for an extended period of time, boiling water doesn't remove heavy metals and it doesn't remove chlorine. What it does, which is dangerous, is concentrate them in the water. So if you're boiling your water, the steam is leaving, the pathogens are dead, but now you've got a higher concentration of things you don't wanna drink either. Distilling water is much, much better. So if you're distilling your water, you're gonna remove heavy metals. They're not gonna come up through that steam. You're gonna kill most viruses and bacteria, but not all. Be careful though, because a limited number of bacteria can survive that process. Now, it also eliminates nitrates and sulfates and all that type of stuff. However, it does not remove VOCs or volatile organic compounds or semi-volatile organic compounds. So again, be careful if you're doing it yourself. Now, you can take your distilled water, which is better than the boiling, and run that through some charcoal filters, some charcoal that you make on your homestead, and you're probably going to get a lot, if not everything, out. But, again, are there any lab tests on that? I don't think so. So I doubt those lawsuits are going to go anywhere. They've been going on for years, and there's some guy on YouTube who claimed that uh, he was filing a lawsuit against them, and I don't think it's gone really anywhere. It's in the courts here in Texas because that's where New Millennium Concepts is based. But the most disturbing thing I wanna talk about right now is the government's war against this company. 
But in thinking about the government's lawsuit against New Millennium Concepts, and thinking about it hard and extrapolating some information, boy, something really hit me. And it's gonna surprise you too. The EPA is trying to regulate or potentially ban these filters because they contain silver. Silver, they say, is classified now as a pesticide. And since it is contained within the filters, and I'll tell you what it does in a minute, that they wanna classify these as a pesticide and regulate or ban them. You can buy colloidal silver, which is just a suspension of silver, at your local health food store. So I don't know how that's possible, but they wanna regulate these. The silver in the filters kills bacteria. It is only second, silver is only second to copper, I believe, in its antimicrobial properties. But the silver also attracts lead, chlorine, and trihalomethanes. Now, listen to that last word, because that's going to be important, trihalomethanes. First, lead and chlorine, you really don't want to be drinking a lot of that, especially lead, right? But check this out. When chlorine is added as a disinfectant to your tap water, or to water that you buy in the bottle at the store. What it does is react with organic compounds in the ground, mostly of a petroleum basis. They're old decaying organic matter, basically. When the chlorine reacts with that, it produces trihalomethanes. Now there is a certain level, and I know because I sit on my local water board for a rural well system, there's a certain level of trihalomethanes that is allowed for people to drink. But we have to put the chlorine in it because the state mandates it to clear up some other things and kill bacteria in the water. But a certain level of trihalomethanes get through. Trihalomethanes cause cancer. The silver in the Berkey system removes the chlorine and the trihalomethanes. Why is the EPA trying to ban these, or at least, at a minimum, regulate them. So armed with that information, I want you to go out and find yourself a Berkey filter water system. In my opinion, they are the best on the market and maybe Alexa Pure's the second best. I trust this thing with my family and trust is all I can do and I've tried to verify, but at the end of the day, in my opinion, it's the best thing to have and the government's trying to regulate it. So that might tell you something. If this video was helpful for you, please hit that like button and share it with your friends. Also to help support the channel and create more content like this, please check out our t-shirts below the video and all of our links to all of our partners and equipment that we love to use here on our homestead. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time.